All right, so I know that you've drawn your butterfly, and I also know that because you are in second grade, you do know how to color, um, but I just want to go over some things with you since this is going to be used for other stuff than just um, a pretty picture for your refrigerator or for something at home. So when you're coloring with your crowns, um, you need to make sure that you're, one, not scribbling, and two, you're not pushing too hard. And three, you're also not pushing too lightly. So just write. I'm going to pick a direction and I'm going to keep coloring in that same direction and stay inside the lines. All right. So what I wanted to show you was if you color too lightly, I know it makes your hand not tired, but you can see all those streaky lines, first of all. And second of all, it, it really doesn't show up very good from far away, light crown colors. And also, if you color too hard, I don't know about you guys, but my hand gets so tired when I color really hard like this. Yes, the color is bold and bright, and that is fantastic, because that is a beautiful color. But this hand, is, it's not going to last. So then you're going to end up with parts of your picture looking pretty scribbly because you're just going to be over it. Okay, so find a happy medium and make sure you're coloring in the same direction. If you are coloring all different kinds of directions like this, it really look, does look a lot scribblier and more like scribble scrabble yuck than when you are coloring in lines, up and down, or even back and forth, whatever you are more comfortable with but keep your lines together. Don't color over here and then color over here. Like, oh, Miss Cross, I just want to get this done. I'm ready for lunch. Okay, I need some neat second grade coloring, please. All right.